Woo. Get you out of the way. Get you out of the way. Oh, man. Talk about allergies. Bah. Okay. Says we're live. Who am I going to sign in here again? Unlisted. Public. Shoot. Well, let's see if somebody shows up. If they don't, I will have to restart the stream. <laughs> yes, no, no, no. People are not going to notice it. Orange. Not the optimal one. Alright, we're gonna have to stop. Let's... Yeah. Let's see if that fixes it. There we go. Okay, people are now showing up. <laughs> Got a little worried there for a hot second. What's this? There we go. Okay. What's up, everybody? How we doing? Can you guys hear me okay, or do I need to boost the microphone a little bit? Okay then, or I'm just that lagged. I don't know. It doesn't seem to be max gain, anyways. Okay, cool. Thanks, Paul. All right, so I'm gonna get ready to start this new little project. But in order to do that. I need this. I need calipers. And zero that out. So try to keep within three inches. So we'll call that seventy millimeter square. There's my workspace. All right, so, and then if we do a line, let's do that, I'll select it, and the construction line, how big is the pipe? <laughs> Very funny, Gunner. Right, the 
we'll call that 24 whoop, millimeters. So we need a circle there, 24. All right. These are the same glasses I've had for a while. What's going on, Jake? Is the is the fans too loud? I can always turn the fan down. It's just really freaking hot in here. <laughs> I can always turn the fan down. Uh, Gunner, I need to make um, two wall mounts for this piece of conduit. I'm going to use it as a, as a curtain rod. So I need to uh, design a mount for it. And then let's give it... It's got to be pretty beefy. Six millimeter wall is pretty thick. Let's do 28. Let's give a nice big beefy wall. And then from there, those are kind of bent. Um, I gotta figure what I wanna do for the base here. Uh, Paul, I have the, well, you can't see it, down around the floor is, I just got the Ender 3 Pro that I've been playing with. Um, I got, oh, a good seven or eight prints off it now, so it's been pretty good so far. Can't really complain about it. I'm going to go ahead and extrude this, and I mean, we'll, we'll do 30 millimeters up. Sketch back there. Local host, what's up? Now I gotta. I don't want to do the base that big. Let's see. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I was supposed to change that. There we go. <laughs> Thanks for RC. <laughs> uh, Cause it's kind of that kind of diamond shape, maybe. I guess. Let's go back to edit this sketch. I do here to there. You mean you don't like my mug? I am so disappointed in you. Alright, now we're gonna. No, we don't wanna do that. I wanna select. And let's, let's get rid of this outer bit. Alright, so we're gonna go with that. And then stop that sketch. We'll make this. Uh, we'll make it five millimeters thick. And I need to let's, hang on, let's, let's go back. So those five millimeters thick. All right. And then I need to put some mounting holes. Just re upgrading. Hand me down Mark II to Mark 2.5S. Oh, very cool. Willie's 3D. What's up, man? And Ender 5. That's, um, I think, what's his name? Just put a video out today. Um, uh, Chep, Chuck Hellebuck. I didn't, I have it open in my browser. I just have not uh, watched it yet. Okay, give that a watch later on tonight. I want to get this done first here. All right, so now we got to figure out how am I going to do some supports on this thing. That's going to be the challenge. It really is. I don't want to just do a big fillet. I was kind of thinking about doing like things that came down at an angle. I don't really know how to do that though. So if I just do, let's create a sketch on that. Whoops. Stop that. If I was just to do like a like a that, and I extruded that up, but no, no, cancel that. 45. No, that's not going to do it. Cancel that. That's not going to do it. Do you think it... Uh, see, Gunner, my thing is, I don't know if it's going to hold. So 
we do let's create the uh, oh no let's modify where's it at where's that chamfer if I do this if I pull it out I don't know if that's gonna be strong enough though hey Ron thanks man Hey, Abby, doing great. You think that'd be strong enough to hold that? I was kind of hoping this 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 collar would be higher up on the chamfer. You know, be have it be like more at an angle, less like forty five degree ish, but more at an angle. But there was no option to change that in the chamfer. Later, Paul. Ooh. <gasps> yes! That's what I want. Like that. So, two distances. That is exactly what I wanted. Alright. So, let's get back on here. Let's do some construction lines. And then we got to figure out how far in. Oh, let's see. Let's do nine millimeters on each one. And now we'll do a circle here. And I think we're going to do five millimeters, should be enough. can always drill it out if it's not quite big enough. So we got that. Okay. Dead man legs idea was bed was is better. Dead man. I'm not sure. Canada maker. Sorry, I didn't see you up there. Hello. I figured it out eventually. So we're gonna go ahead and fill it. Oh, not that. Do a big fillet on this. Kind of pull that in a bit. Like so, I like that. And then let's get these cut out. Let's put a fillet on these because I'm not sure what kind of screws I'm gonna end up using. Let's do two mil. That's really close to the edge, though. Uh. Let's do that. There we go. A little more meat around that. Um. And what next we got to do here? I don't know. I think that might work out. It's going to be like this on the wall. That way they'll have the one screw right below it kind of holding the, the weight and then the screw above it to kind of help assist that and one's on the side. Let's see, if you cut out the holes in the middle, you'll get stronger edges by the wall. So lay on the edges but not in a layer of standing. Oh, so you mean like don't have it go all the way through that? Is that what you mean? Like, if I pull that out, so the pipe goes all the way to the edge there. Uh, Abby, you should be able to use the stock firmware. I used a custom one that someone sent me just because I thought I needed it, but you actually can use the stock one. I was having a problem with some zip ties that I put on the machine. man support. I really have no idea what in the world you're talking about. Oh, 
Oh, I think I get it. You're going straight through it. Oh, I think that's what you mean. I think. I don't know. Okay, yeah, you're right. like that. Okay. All right, so we'll just keep that out then. Um... Okay. All right. I'm um, I'm tracking now. All right. We're there. Um I guess that's it for the first one here. The next one's going to be funner. More fun because I need to make this at a 45 degree angle because the other wall sadly is not straight across. It's 45 degree angle. So if we let's create a new one here real quick. Do a quick sketch. Um, we'll do the rectangle. Just start with that. Put a Sierra Pro, replace the hot end with a Microsoft All Metal hot end, and now I have to recalibrate the whole printer. Running my first print at the bed leveling and trying blue tape. Uh, you should be able to just, Ron the admin, you should be able just to go straight onto the glass. Um, I definitely recommend just getting maybe a sheet of PEI. I think it'd be like 40 bucks from CS Hyde. Uh, it's really, I got the, 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 what's it? 10 mil. So it's a millimeter thick. I like it. Um, it takes a beating and keeps on going. I have it on the CR 10 S and the, uh, Forge Tech FT FT5. And I really like that. A plane offset from the first model. Uh, fun RC. I have no idea how to do that, dude. I'm just gonna recreate something from scratch here, just because I like to be difficult. Uh, select, and then we can kill the box. And I'm going to blow my nose again because allergies. Blah. <clears throat> and then we got, let's see, 24 mil. And then we're going to do 28 millimeters. Create offset plane, drop down menu. Great. Uh, hmm. Maybe a thickened boundary. I am not seeing it, dude. Unless I just, I'm totally not reading it. So modifies in here. Split place. No, Gunner, the the pole mount is not going to be flush against. It's going to be at a 45 degree angle. I'm not seeing this. Ah, offset plane. So, um, if I want to do it like that, so you can create an offset plane, but it, it doesn't give me the option to do it at an angle. Yeah, thanks, Eric. Oh. Mm, Alright, let's do that. Plane at angle. Ooh, ooh. This might be it. I want to go here. And I want it to be 45 degrees. Okay. Ooh. Okay, and then I want to create... Oh yeah, this might be it. This might be cooking with gas right here. 
And then if I extrude this up that way and let's also do it, um, let's do it symmetrically. Uh, I know what we'll to, we'll have to do it differently. Okay, hang on. We're good on that though. We're good on that. Stop that sketch. Let's go back to my original sketch. Let's extrude this. We'll make this five mil thick. And then let's extrude this out that way. Hmm. Might need to end up bringing that over a little bit more. All right. So we're going to be like this. Um, so it, it's ended up looking like that. That's not the right way. Cancel that. Let's go. Let's let's construct plane at an angle. Five. I think that's better. Another one, let's do 28, oops, okay, I think that's what I want right there, and we're going to go ahead and we'll extrude this, I said we'll do it 30 out that way, and then we're going to extrude this, just through the plane I guess for now, and we're going to extrude this up 5 mil, we want to join, No, let's go the other way around. Order of operations. Stop sketch. Five mil. Join. Intersect. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Not what I wanted. Hey, Brian. Let's see. New body. Mm. No, we'll do, we'll do, we'll do. Right, we'll do join with that. And let's just get to that point. And now we will extrude. That is a cut. Boom. I like it. All right, so now let's extrude this one that way. But the question is from Malta. What's up, AP Tech? Mar Martin? There's a J in there. I don't know how to pronounce that, but what's up? Yes, trying to fill over a round hole. That is correct. Um, I wish I could have it like stop on this plane. Join, intersect, no. Oh, you meant new body. I'm tracking what you said. Okay, yes. So if we extrude this, we go up that way. We'll do 30 that way. I want to do two sides, and let's do just to get me through it down there. Okay. And we're going to call this a jewel. We're going to call this a new body. And hit OK on that. OK. Now we're going to re enable this. And we're going to go up that way. And we're going to do this two sides. And we're going to go down that way. And we're going to cut that. All right, awesome. Now we're going to do oh, oh, I know what we're going to do. I know what we're going to do. We're going to do split body. And we're going to split that body on that plane okay dang it compute failure all right what if we just do this what if we do an extrude down like that and let's do a cut no 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 
extrude that, we're going to do a cut down into there. And. Hmm. Objects to cut. It's not cutting it though. Although I can do this. Um. Nope. <sighs> start from plane. What do you mean start from plane? Which plane? I know what I want to do. I want to do that. I want to just do that, and I want it to kill it. But I wonder if I, what if I join these real quick? So if I assemble, uh, where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it? Combine. Okay. Let's just join those real quick. Now let's try to extrude this down. Oh, oh, you mean? But I did extrude from plane. Because that's why it's only cutting so much. But I also want it to, to do... New sketch from the side. So here, new sketch. Let's see if this works. Boom! <laughs> this just might work. And if I go, well, there is kind of a gap in there. It looks like. So if we go to here and we create, let me do a sh no. I want to do create, modify chamfer. Photo chamber created request the size might not be carrying the ends of the selected edges. Try adjusting the size, multiple separate operations. Hmm. Because it cut into it, it's not joined to it now. I don't know how I heal this hole right here. Can't fill it that either. Nope, nope, we can't, we can't do that. Oh, Brian, I see what you mean. That would make total sense, I understand. Remove the circles in the original sketch. Oh yeah, you guys are ah, uh, you guys are awesome. That made total sense. Now I can chamfer that to be a hunky monkey. Let's do two distances and kind of bring that up like that. Okay. All right, now let's go ahead. We'll do one more sketch. Uh, we're doing a line. We're doing uh, nine mil down. How about that one? Uh, and I'm done with that one. Now we're gonna do five mil circles. Uh, 
screwed all these down like that and then we'll give no 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 stop that yeah, that was nothing kill that sketch no kill that sketch delete okay fill it no F there we go and then we're doing I think I did two millimeter on the other one right yeah it looks about right so there's our other mount. So it's going to be mounted on the wall like like that. And the pipe will go into it straight on like so. Because again, that wall is at an angle. I really hope 45 is the right angle because I honestly don't know. Totally guessing at it. Let's see, so Reality CS bought any Cubic Max X. I never even heard of that printer before. Oh, the 4 Max. They just named it, they just renamed it, I guess. Right? I'm not, I don't know what the Max X is, I'm not, I mean there's the 4 Max and then there's the, the, um, the Mega, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, Martin, this is uh, some holders for a piece of conduit. Small fill inside the Oh, okay. I'm gonna do it right here. Fill it. Yeah. Whoa. Let's just do one millimeter. Let's go this one. One mil on this one. I don't even know this is gonna fit. So thankfully, all I need to do is resize the uh, the doohickey, resize that circle in the original sketch, and I should be able to do that. So let's save this and. Call this uh, straight, straight conduit holder, and we'll save this one as forty-five three holder. Save that one, and let's makey makey. Simplify 3D. Here we go. Remove, import, desktop. What I call it? Uh, did it not save the desktop? Where to go? Oh, went to a different location. That would be why. Add. Nope, wrong one. Import. There we go. Download. Body one. And there she blows. We need to give this. Uh, one of two processes. All right, we're gonna do it with the. Uh, we'll do Ender 3 Pro. I'm using my Ender 3 profile because the Pro profile kind of sucks. Um, 0.2 millimeters is good. We're gonna do four walls. We're gonna do 40% uh, infill. Uh, that's fine. I'm actually gonna change this to rectilinear. I think that'll be a little bit stronger to fill in those walls 
Because actually, with so many walls, I don't know how tall those would print. It's all walls up there. Five walls, looks like. CNX, what's up, man? Solve the angle easily with a tape measure. Hmm, I've never actually used a tape measure to do an angle. I was going to find a protractor, but uh, I didn't find one anywhere. I'll print this out, and um, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, no sweat. I'll just adjust the angle. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do this on the Ender 3. So, I don't really have it set up. It's on the floor. I can do a print down there, I guess. Coffeeology, what's up? 3D Medic, hello, hello. Hour and 20 minutes, that's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. But, oh, I do need to change my temperature because I'm going to go ahead and use... Um, um, what's that, that other PLA they got? What's that one called? Shoot. There's some PETG I could use. That's a stiffer though. Where is that spool? There it is. Yeah, I'm gonna use Raptor. This just came out of the filament dryer, so it should be good to go. This Maker Geeks Raptor. I know people don't like Maker Geeks. It's fine. I have the filament, so I'm just going to use it. But the um, cooling's fine. There's temperature at extruder 235. That should be all right. I don't have any PLA Plus. This is the stronger PLA that I have. So I'm going to, again, I, don't, I have it. I know people don't like them. I don't recommend them anymore, so definitely don't buy from them. But I have the filament, so I might as well just use it. And I don't feel like doing this in ABS because I do have a polycarbonate. So I could do it in that if this doesn't end up working out so well. But either way, say love you. card adapter that's mostly where I got a lot of mine localhost was the geek box prepare to print save this as straight conduit holder Oh, they're, they're finally out, out? Okay. I knew they were still kind of lingering around. They made a new company of some junk, and yeah, so. I have probably 20 rolls of their stuff to kind of burn through. All right, we'll let that heat up and let that print now. Let's take a look how the 45 degree one works. I should probably rename those bodies because it exported as body one. door. Alright, and there's a 45 degree one. Let's save that. 
save this one and we're going to go ahead and three export this one out Gabin filming geeks oh yeah yeah that was it John what's up man Gabin you're French bonjour All right, what's 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 good what's at night? Bonsoir? Something like that? Yeah. Any recommendations on strengthening two piece two PLA pieces that are butted and glued together without the use without the use of pins? Use 3D glue. That stuff is amazing. Uh, most people that have tested it, they've had the prints break and not the glue joint. So that would be saying it that. And then, so reality CS, reality CS. Let me go back and look to your question real quick. So you said it was the AnyCubic. Wait, what did you say it was? Because I just forgot. You said it was the Max S. You mean the Mega S? Yeah, Mega S. Okay, you said Mega S. Bon Travial. I don't know that one. Favorite place to buy Raspberry Pis? Amazon. Using my affiliate link. John. <laughs> uh, let's see here. So, I have the Mega. What's different with the Mega S? I mean, if you're having a problem with it, you just bought it. Um, you need to just send it back and get another one. There's no reason to keep it. Um, especially again, if you just bought it. I love my Anycubic i3 Mega. I love that machine. Can't even see it there. So let's see, it was released tail end of 2017. I guess what it comes down to is if you're having problems, just replace it because it's a fantastic machine. It really is. The Mega is. Again, the Mega S, I don't have. The Mega is amazing. I love it. There, there's an affiliate link for the Raspberry Pis on Amazon, John. <laughs> uh, I think because it looks like um, just going off of the... Uh, I didn't change out that filament. Hang on.
There we go. All right, that's coming up properly now. Uh, da -da. Oh, let's see what else we say here. <laughs> I said fine. Change the extruder nozzle, test out or replace the entire extruder itself. Oh, let's see. Oh, you said it's better than printing TV. I've been in contact with support problems. Seems to get solved. I'm sure if I should change your extruder nozzle and then test it out. I mean, it should come with an extra nozzle, so it's always a great thing to test, but um, the extruder should be fine. Yeah, especially if you bought it from somewhere like Amazon or something, they should absolutely take it back without a problem. Ever had the heater cartridge short out on a hot end while cleaning the filament that jammed around the nozzle? Uh, no, I have had some pretty gnarly, I think I posted a picture a long time ago about a gnarly um, uh, clog that I had. Well, not a clog, but I got that, you know, the, the great big glob all over the hot end. And uh, after heating it up, nothing should short it out unless you hold the two ends together. Nick, no, I never got the paint tent. Actually, I feel kind of bad, but right here in that box, uh, that's my airbrush kit. I still have not uh, not bought or not got it out to use it yet. Let's see. To be going okay. I just realized while I crouched down, you crouched right looking at my butt. So you're all dirty buggers for that one. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've never had anything short out unless you like pinch it together. So that's all I can say about that. All right, thanks for catching the stream. So I'm trying to do, um, I'm trying to get back into the doing a stream every weekend. So whether it is a hangout like this where I'm kind of working on a random project, or if it is an actual printing thing so I have I have my upgrade kit to the MMU 2S that just came in uh, last week and I just I'm trying to clean up the office a little bit as well so I didn't want to do this this weekend I think next week I'm gonna do this I also still didn't print I should do that right now um, while we're hanging out I should get the um, Get this stuff together so I can print those other parts. Used Ender 3. Uh, complained about the f one half of the print service was included being heavily used, nothing sticky. They refund me $45 from Amazon. You bought a used Ender 3 on Amazon? Interesting. Which Ender 3 did you get? Does it have the polycarbonate like flex plate on it? All right, that thing's cooking with gas now, so we're doing all right. Uh, let me get to the Twitter because I don't remember. Um, somebody made those other uh, Pusa. MK3S They talked about it somewhere. Someone has it on Twitter and let me know who posted it, but someone had posted different No, that's stupid. No, not that. It was the for the Mark Three S upgrade. Um, MK Three S upgrade. Let me see if I can find where it's at. Because they said that theirs was better their printed parts. I think I have it open at work, but of course I can't access. Oh, there it is. Oh no. I think it was this guy, this Butterworth Designs. I think it was him that posted it.
Yes, it was him. Oh, okay, this is the one I wanted to try out. Uh... Oh, thanks, Reality. Appreciate that. It has half a magnetic surface. Hmm, interesting. Because my Mark, the Ender 3 Pro has the magnetic surface, but the Ender 3 just has the polycarbonate flex sheet. Uh, the PLA pushed the outer insulation, the heater wire away. It was using FF wire brush. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you might have to replace. What, what, um, what printer is that on, Ron? Oh, a refurbished by Amazon. Ah, I got you now. What did you design Fusion 360? Uh, this is a conduit holder. Uh, there's two parts here, straight one and one at a 45 degree angle. Oh, I didn't. Um, oh, I didn't start this print yet though. I didn't do the fillets on this one. Yeah, I did seven millimeters on the other one. Yeah, that's pretty good. And then, oh, I do want to fill it the entire top a little bit. Let's, uh, let's see what's going good here. 1.5, I think that looks good. And I didn't do it, oh, I didn't do it to this one though. So you fill it this top, 1.5. Save that one. Save this one. I'll probably end up reprinting the other one just because um, I'm going to let it get a few more layers. I'm going to stop it because I want to make sure that the conduit actually fits inside the hole. I might need to uh, spread that out. Oh, use the sign function on paper or a calculator. Huh, okay. I've never, Fun RC, I've never heard of that again. Protractor seemed to be the easiest thing for me. I'm honestly hoping it's not a 60 degree angle that it's on, um, but we'll do it that for now. Oh, CR10 S Pro. Yeah, I saw, oh, you said S Pro earlier. I'm sorry, I forgot about that. Um,. Why was you okay? So if you replaced it, the Micro Swiss with that, then why is the the temperature thing glued in? It shouldn't be. It should be held in with a um, uh, because it's the Mark Ten. It should be held in. It shouldn't be glued on. It's just held in with a little screw on on the side of it. So it should be able to pull that right off. Where we at so far? A little bit longer on that. If there's anything else I need to do on this one? Let me download those files. Where's that at? Right, download. Actually, we're gonna probably print this with uh, Prusa slicer. original hot end was glued in that is so weird because I unless that's something they're doing on the CR on the on a newer CR10s but mine was not that way so uh, like less that the pro is that way I know mine was not and I replaced the nozzle and the entire hot end on my CR10s with a all metal all right so we're gonna do this is gonna go on our 2.0 fast MK3. Uh, we're doing it with MMU2 single. Or no, we're gonna have to do it. No, we have to do it on the uh, MMU2. And then I need some PETG. It's not loaded, and I don't know where it is. Where's my PETG at? Is. Ah. 
Alright, so I got my Zoltec PTG right. Yep. And we'll put this into... Put it into number five. So number five is going to be... Oh, generic PET is fine. Uh, this is going to be... that here. I don't need the the block. Where do I turn that off at? Multiple extruders. Uh, let's disable the wipe tower. Okay. So <laughs> thanks John. <laughs> I know how that goes. Pull all this in and we'll take a look at it. Uh, no, I'm going to use all multiple projects. Holy shnikes. He's, there's like 17 different ones. So let's just delete everything. I gotta go to his listing and see what it's all about. <laughs> Math was never my strong suit, to tell you that right now. The N4 extruder parts are a modified version of the Prusa R4 parts. So there's N4A and N4. Make both first. Added a version of X carriage. M3 sensor folks using X axis parts with 16T idlers. I didn't do that. Restores a vertical height of the extruder, heat sink, air channels that would be found in original R3. Has anybody done this guy? So this is um, Butterworth Designs remake of the R4 extruder mod. Um, has anybody done this before? Because I'd really like to know um, which ones they ended up using. S plate. I'm guessing this is it here. I don't understand how in the world this is supposed to help out. It might be worth a shot though. You know, you can never know. Slice. Two Sea Kings ago? Sea Kings? What? I didn't know that they were a form of measurement in time. Widens it just a little bit. Interesting. So it looks like this, John. Um, it's just some little differences on it. Um, I already have the ones that Prusa put out to print, um, but I kind of wanted to give this one a uh, a go. Because I do see the, the changes that he made uh, to allow more airflow to get on the hot end, which is always good.
wonder if I should up it to, um... Oh, he did 15%. Sneeze, I have to sneeze. Man. He did cubic. I'm gonna do cubic on the whole thing. Slice now. Let's, uh, let's get that Mark III ready to go then, I guess. Blow my nose real quick. Y'all don't need to hear that crap. The thing I do need to do, though, still is... Maybe when I take this apart to do this upgrade, I'm going to go ahead and put on um, a micro Swiss nozzle because I ordered a bunch on Black Friday and I did order one for the My Mark III. It's a little dusty because I haven't used it in about two months. Export G code. Sure. Should buy MU two S. Um, John, I can tell you. Let me let me get it real quick here. Hang on. My experience with it has been mixed. I actually have a video that's going to come out. Uh, I'm probably going to edit it tonight or tomorrow. It'll be out in a week or two. Um, on my like first experiences with the Mark III. I, I filmed it like two months ago, but again, I kind of took some time off. So my very first print, um, I think, was this Moai guy. And he did not finish, as you can see. Or he did finish. But it had some horrible under extrusions, and then he kept printing just fine. The quality is meh, but I mean, what can you do? And then I tried printing this little ghost guy, and he never even finished. And then I did finally get uh, this three color, um, six bearing thing uh, printed, and you see it spins perfectly fine. But I had to like, the printer stopped and jammed probably a dozen times to do this print. So it ended up taking like 30 hours to print because I went to bed, came back and it was jammed. I went to work, came back, it was jammed. I had to fix it. I'm hoping that the MK3S, the MMU2S changes are going to fix those problems because I'm having horrible issues with it. But then I'm looking at other people that are getting like fantastic prints like Garrett at uh, Abuzz Designs. I mean, he's doing fantastic thing. Not Abuzz. Um, what's his thing? Anyways, Garrett and his wife, they do all the modeling and they've done like Doctor's Prime. He gets fantastic prints with it. I don't know how he does it. Because um, I do not get fantastic prints with it. subscriber hello hello oh thank you Evan chaos cortex yes John that's them yeah they he has done fantastic things with it and that's honestly one of the reasons why I bought the MMU 2 is to print things like that um, so I'm kind of hoping uh, that did export I'm kind of hoping that um, once I do this upgrade I'll be able to print some of his designs because I really 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 want to
you let it cool down, it's still way too pliable. I need to get a, a hair dryer like uh, Bill Duran does and use that as cold air to cool things down faster. I mean, he takes like such a long time to design those things too. Um, I'm, I'm trying to learn more in Fusion 360. That's kind of the whole reason why I'm doing projects like this is to learn more like with it. Uh, it's just taking time. All right, I need to get this PTG loaded. stick this just to be safe. And now we wait. All right, so Jude Tech Jude, what's up, man? Thanks for coming on the stream. I am just getting some things printed now. Glue sticks the devil. For PDG, I like it. What was I doing? Oh yeah. Let's see if this fits on our conduit, or if it's too small of a hole. Wow, that's actually a perfect fit. Awesome sauce, I like that. I like that a lot. All right, so now we can, uh, let's re-slice that with the new piece. It's a pretty good sized piece too. I think that'll work out well. Although now that the build plate is heated up, I'm not sure that the uh, <laughs> magnet's gonna I only use glue stick for uh, oh I didn't need to re-export that I guess here make that okay now that's done now we can import it there we go prepare to print Save it out.
roads. Oh, I didn't select. Idiot. I didn't select the right uh, extruder in Prusa Edition. Not that. This right here is what I need. Go here. Extruder 5. Oh wait, let's, let's slice it again. Ah, I'm an idiot. Uh, let's see. Nerds, girls, 3D printing. What's up? Uh, it's to be kind of like a curtain rod, John. You've never heard of him? Wow. Yeah, he is. Um, he does by far the best modeling out there. His um, he did a. I think he did a Voltron version. Um, I'm not. I'm actually currently waiting for uh, Jordy's uh, juries to finish uh, 3D Workbench. He's working on his again. Um, and then uh, Chaos Cortex has like Optimus Prime, which is pretty sweet. So. Do you have any tips for supports with four millimeter hole? It needs to be removed without distorting the hole. I mean, are you talking like, yeah, four millimeters is nothing. Um, you should need support for that. Exported. Okay. Preheat that and then get that filament loaded. Uh, where are we at here? MK Me Lab, what's up? Welcome to the stream. I mean, honestly, if, if you're printing PLA, bridging a four millimeter hole is nothing. There should be zero sagging in that at all. I would be surprised if there was any at that tiny, of that small amount of a hole. But also, you would never. Even if you printed support, you'd never get it out unless you use what um, uh, Nerds Girl said, which was PVA. David Oseman. Oh yeah, I've seen some of his stuff. Yeah, that's pretty good. There's one. Was I don't if you see the one that made it. He made the someone made the Joker bust. That was pretty sweet looking. Uh, I have not printed that yet. Not if it's a circle that's in the, I mean, are you talking about you have a hole and then a lid and then you just have to, the bridging across that is what needs it? Or are you printing a hole, a like circle that is in the air and you need filament underneath of it? Or support underneath of it, I mean.
Roger that, Prince. I mean, I did the uh, I did the entire great big when I did the 500% cart. Uh, I did that with no support. parts are on their way. Sex Mini V1. That's hard to say, King. I mean, but you would never, you need something that can print two different types. Um, you need a different printer, honestly. Or a pallet or something that you could put P PVA into. Um, or just upgrade your fan. So I did the video on upgrading it. You put a 50, uh, 50 15 fan on there, that's going to cool it just nicely. All right, so this can go in the trash. Where's the trash bag at? And then once that one finishes, then I can go ahead and print the uh, other one, the 45 degree one, and see how that turns out. Which hopefully should turn out just as good. Told me a little drill bit. Yeah, drilling it out would work too. Yeah. Um, you can you can post it on my Discord. Let me uh, post a link real quick. Um, where do I have the Discord at? Here it is. Let me get an invite link real quick, and I'll throw it up. There's mine. And then here. All right, there's my Discord. You can do that. The Noctua fan doesn't have enough static pressure. The dual fan should work, though. You can go ahead and join that Discord, and then I'll see it there. Oh, excuse me. Right, where did I put that? Here it is. I need to save. I need to log in. I need to save this. Yeah, I haven't been terribly active in it in the past few, uh, like, month or two, just because um, I've just been busy with work. Where am I at here? Uh, da -da -da -da, where are we at? Here we are. Yeah, post it now. I'll, I'll keep it open. Take a look at it. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think what else did I need to print lately. What was this one that they had here? 16 tooth idler. I don't know what that one's about. I don't have anything of that. I also need to put on the new filament sensor onto my Mark III. Jeez, everybody's joining now. Good gravy. Now I have to respond there.
I did uh, I did print this on my Ender 3 Pro recently though. One piece broke. But it came out pretty clean actually. I was pretty interested in that. Some of the overhangs a little bit to be desired. I need to do my maker coin on that machine. But this one right here broke during printing. Actually two of them broke, but that one broke the most, so it's kind of jacked up now. But not a bad little print. Using some Amazon Basics PLA. Uh, do, 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 do. Print money. <laughs> uh, my recommendation on the Prusa clone, I mean, it prints pretty much identically to my original Prusa, to be honest. Um, and I'm actually, I haven't, I haven't gotten it settled yet, but I might be getting one of the full kit uh, clones from AliExpress sent to me to try out, which would be sweet because I spent way more than what they're charging for a full kit. So I really want to try that out. Hey, Ron, how's it going? Oh, AB Tech, that's a good idea. Um, so I, I guess I would wait to, to build a clone unless you have a lot of the hardware laying around until I check out that other clone because it's three they're like 350 bucks, 370 bucks on AliExpress. So I really want to try one of those uh, to see how good they are because most of the parts that I got were from this company. So I want to wait until they say yes before I say anything. Uh, 3D printing. Oh, let's see here. Oh, so you're printing it face... So this piece you have up top is face down. And the hole is inside of there. Mm. Is there any way that you can print it in the orientation that you posted? Because it seems like with that, you wouldn't need... Oh, you would need support inside... Um, inside those other pieces then. Or maybe print it on its bottom side. So looking at the picture from that bottom, that might be um, something. That's really small, man. It is not the Triangle Labs kit. Uh, it's one of the other ones. Uh, there's there's three or four of them total on there. Um, how's the basics PLA working for you? Perfectly fine. I mean, I've gotten through. Where'd that roll go? So this is this like green I've been using, and I mean, as you can see there, I've got. This says about 70 meters left on the roll. Uh, I've done a few different projects with this. Prints perfectly fine. I have no issues with it whatsoever. Um, the purple, I just finished the purple. I did the review on that. I don't know if you saw the video, but this is off the Mark III with the Amazon Basics Purple PLA. I mean, this this came out gorgeous. I mean, just amazing. I had one failed part here. One of these, like rounded off pieces there failed and during the print but man it's really good filament I don't care what people say I had one person post a comment on my video uh, this is just an advertisement for this crappy basic filament and that was on the PETG version of the Amazon basics filament and the PDG prints just as good as Ziltec and I strongly recommend Ziltec PLA for anybody theirs is cheaper than Amazon's um, especially with the uh, discount code but yeah I mean it prints perfectly well I mean there's nothing wrong with it whatsoever the PLA plus I, I tested the PLA tough from Kodak which wasn't too bad ago um well, actually, I did that like a year and a half ago. What is that? Oh, okay. Um, it was good. I was hoping to get more from Kodak and their printer, but it's been crickets from them lately. Um, 
So hopefully one day they'll reply back and we'll get with that. I need to draw out that poly that uh, polycarbonate that I've been using. It's carbon fiber polycarbonate. That's a review I'm currently working on. I need. To, I'm gonna get recording probably tomorrow night, maybe before Game of Thrones. I print Ziltec at 205, 210. That's what I print pretty much all my PLA on every printer because I print faster between 60 and 80 to 100, up to 100 millimeters a second, so I always print a little bit hotter. Now, MK Me for you. Um, oh, Martin, have a good night, man. Get to bed. Um, I've tried 3D Printing Canada and filaments.ca and they both had really good PLA. I think it was um what was the most recent one I did? 3D Printing Canada. They had like their their like basic type of PLA. That stuff printed fantastic. I love that stuff. And it was like came out to like $12 a roll, like stupid cheap, which was really really good in my opinion. Our series shows. You work for HBO, Fun RC. <laughs> like a little bit of Ellie elephant footing on that Mark III print. That's okay. Pryline is fantastic. They they have probably the best wood filament I've ever tested before. Um, it's great, rich, deep color. So, no, I'm not a Canuck, but uh, they sent me their filament to try out, and I really really liked it. Um, except like for if you're outside of Canada, it was what like three hundred dollars to get free shipping, which is pretty high. But I mean, if I was gonna buy filament in bulk, I would. Um, Daz filaments, I hear good things about it, but uh, it's European filament, so it's stupid expensive to get here in the States. 3D Prima, same thing. A European filament company. Ooze Nest, never heard of them. And Protopasta, obviously, is just good stuff. Personal choices, ah. Um. But yeah, I, I try to get as many different filaments as I can from as many companies as I can because it really depends. I mean, I have um, a lot to test right now, actually. <laughs> I'm going to go through how many I have because there's quite a few that I need to. Um, you've had a couple email, companies email me because I'm kind of falling behind a little bit. But, you know, um, say lovey, I'm not a full-time YouTuber. It's not my job. So I print things when I can print things and taking some time off just had to happen rigid inks um i don't think i ever got their pla i got it in MakerBox before and it wasn't anything noteworthy um nothing stood out about it i guess i'm chowing down on easter candy For Ziltec, I like the price per roll for the quality of filament that you get. Because with the with the fifteen percent coupon that I have, uh, I think it comes like thirteen dollars a roll, and PETG is like fifteen a roll. I should try that out real quick. Actually, let me see here. Let's check out what it would be. Comments, I can see what's going on. Um, well, they got new colors. Look at that. 
So if we go here, Zotech, let's just do their PLA. Bronze now, gold. Let's just do something basic. Um, black. All well, the same price, yeah. So add the black to cart. And then let me find my. What's the discount code? Fugitech 3D. Add a coupon. Twelve seventy four, so it takes two bucks off per roll. Uh, also, I think my uh, my code should also be in honey, as well. Um, but yeah, you get fifteen percent off, so twelve bucks a roll is not too bad at all. I really like that. And again, I just like their filament; it prints really consistently. Their PETG is probably one of my favorites, also for the price. So let's look at their PETG. I want to say it came down like 15. I just this is the black that I had. I bought two rolls of it a couple months ago. I think back in January. Um, so we take out the PLA. So it takes off almost three bucks a roll. Um, And then let's see, shipping comes to be it's cheaper the more rolls you buy. That's why I always try to buy. So it's five bucks a spool. But if I was change this to like let's see if we do five rolls, you end up pretty much getting a free roll. Estimate shipping. Uh, it's zero <laughs> with five five rolls of filament is nothing. Wonder how many how few rolls you can have to get free shipping with Ziltec. Five spools. Yep. So if you get five spools of filament or more from Ziltec, shipping's free. That's not too bad. MK Lab, hey, good, uh, good talking with you, man. Wizards Voodoo, oh, interesting. I never heard of that one before. Code works on almost everything in their store, just in 3D. Oh, seventy-five dollars minimum for free shipping. Okay. Well, five spools. I think basically when you get the five spools, you get free shipping and you almost get a spool of PEG for free because it was like 14 something. So you end up paying like $3 for one of the spools. So that's really not that bad. Probably not, Gunner. Because no one's in Iceland except for you. <laughs> I'm at here. Do 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 do. too close so oh filamentum oh okay I have I'm supposed to be getting the filamentum one box to try out it's like their subscription box type thing um, I really want to try that out but I uh, have not heard anything back from them yet um, oh I'm not gonna be staying I'm gonna I'm actually gonna probably get off right here now it fits so I did um, I did do a test fit on the straight one so pretty good to go 
two last week from uh, Ziltek. Yeah, I do get um, I do get a little something using the code. I need um, I need to get with Ziltek and see if I can get some of their new colors to try out. That'd be really cool. I don't even know what the percentage is uh, just in 3D. I just um, I get some money from them once every one or two months, something like that. I get an email. Um, all right, so I'm going to call it there, guys. So thanks for hanging out while I designed this interesting little thing. <laughs> um, I learned some new stuff, and I hope some of you guys did too with um, Fusion. I'm not great at it, but again, you only know and you, uh, you try it out. So... Um, yeah, thanks for hanging out, guys. If you, you know what to do, become a subscriber, hit the bell icon, and you know when I upload videos. And then whenever I do live streams, you get the email or like a push notification on your phone, which is pretty cool. Uh, if you want to help out, there's the super chat. There's other ways to do donations down below. Become a patron for the after show. I pretty much film those after most all my videos now. So, yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys, and I'll see you all next time.